Hey everybody, I want to take some time to read uh, this book. It's called A Picture Book of Benjamin Franklin. It was written by David A. Adler, John, and Alexandra Walner. And this is what it looks like. I bought this book cheap. It says $5. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston, Massachusetts on January 17, 1706. Massachusetts was then one of the thir 13 American colonies that belonged to England. There were 17 Franklin children. Benjamin's father hoped that Benjamin, the 10th and youngest son, would grow up to be a minister. So there's some pictures of it. Benjamin always had a lot of ideas. When he was still a young boy, he invented swimming paddles that fit over his hands and helped him swim faster. There's Benjamin with his invention. Have you invented anything in your life so far? Benjamin began school when he was eight years old. He had good handwriting and was an excellent reader, but he did poorly in arithmetic. Benjamin's father did not have enough money to keep him in school. When Benjamin was 10, he began to work in his father's soap and candle shop. Benjamin cut wicks, poured hot wax into candle molds, and did errands. He hated the smell of wax and the boiling soap. He hated making candles. Benjamin wrote poetry. He loved books and reading. So when he was 12, his father put Benjamin to work in a print shop. The printer and owner of the shop was James Franklin. Benjamin's older brother. James Franklin printed one of the first newspapers in America, the New England Current. Benjamin set, set type and ran the press. He also wrote clever articles for the newspaper. He signed them, Mistress Silence Do Good, Do Good, so no one would know who wrote them. James was angry when he found that his brother was Silence Do Good. He refused to print any, any more of the articles. See, there's a picture. His angry brother who owned the shop. When Benjamin was 17, he left his brother's shop. He went to New York City and then to Philadelphia, where he worked in a print shop. Soon after Benjamin arrived in Philadelphia, he met Deborah Reed. They were married in 1730. Benjamin had three children, William, Francis, and Sarah. In 1728, when Benjamin was 22, he set up his own print shop and published a newspaper, the Pennsylvania Gazette. P Benjamin worked hard. He became the official, the official printer of Pennsylvania. Later, he became the official printer for New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland, too. Once a year, Benjamin, in 1732, began printing Poor Richard's Almanac. At that time, it was the most popular almanac in America. <coughs> it had information on the weather, recipes and a calendar of important dates. It also had stories and wise sayings, including early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise, and haste makes waste. Benjamin Franklin had worked hard since he was a boy. By 1748, at the age of 42, he was a rich man. He retired from the printing business. He spent his time in public service, inventing and experimenting. Benjamin Franklin helped set up Philadelphia's first fire and police departments. He helped to, to start the first lending library and the first hospital in America. He was made postmaster of Philadelphia and later postmaster of all 13 American colonies. So Benjamin shows that whenever you put your mind to something, you can accomplish it. Benjamin Franklin invented the Franklin stove. It saved fuel and heating, heated a room better than a fireplace. He invented bifocal glasses and a long arm to reach books on high shelves. He also invented the lightning rod that saved many homes from fires. Benjamin Franklin was very interested in electricity. In one dangerous experiment, he flew a kite in a thunderstorm. When lightning struck the kite, sparks flew from a key attached to the string. Benjamin had proved that lightning is electricity. In 
In 1765, Benjamin went to England. He spoke at the English House of Commons against the Stamp Act, a tax which the American colonists felt was unfair. Franklin helped to convince the English to end the tax. Benjamin Franklin remained in England for 10 years. He told the English king and his advisors to give people in the 13 colonies more rights and freedom, but the king refused. Benjamin Franklin returned to the colonies in 1775. Soon after the beginning of the American Revolution, He was at the Second Continental Congress and was chosen to help write the Declaration of Independence. Do you guys know what the Declaration of Independence is? In 1776, Benjamin Franklin traveled to France to ask the French people to help America in its fight for independence. The French people liked Benjamin's clever stories. They, They honored him as a great scientist. The French king, Louis the fifteenth, the 16th, agreed to send money and weapons to America. America won its independence, and Franklin helped write the peace treaty with England. Benjamin Franklin returned to Philadelphia in 1785. He was an American hero. When his ship was about to dock, cannons were fired in his honor. Bells were rung, and a crowd awaited to greet him. So there is Benjamin returning home. And people waiting to greet him. So what makes a person a hero in your opinion? What makes a person a hero in your opinion? Two years later, in 1787, a constitution was being written to govern the United States. Benjamin Franklin was the oldest delegate to the Constitutional Convention. He was 82 years old. In his final years, Benjamin Franklin wrote his autobiography. He also spoke out against slavery and worked to outlaw it. Benjamin Franklin died on April 17, 1790, at the age of 84. When Benjamin Franklin wrote his will, he called himself Benjamin Franklin, printer. But people all over the world knew him as more than a printer. They knew him also as a writer, scientist, inventor, and statesman. They knew him as Benjamin Franklin, great American. So once again, this was about Benjamin Franklin. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for more books in the future, everybody. Thank you.